Good morning, believer. Today's topic is one of my favorite things about being a part of the body of Christ, fellowship. Yes, we gather to worship and adore Jesus. That's paramount. But another reason for gathering as believers is fellowship. Fellowship is a significant aspect of believers getting together, and it merits our attention this morning. Psalm 119 lays a great foundation for the basis of our fellowship. I am a friend of all who fear you, to all who follow your precepts. This psalm introduces the unique nature of the fellowship of God's people. Our fellowship is not based on any similar personalities or social status. That's what unbelievers base their fellowship on. According to this psalm, the fellowship of God's people is based on a mutual desire to please God. We choose to be devoted to others who are devoted to God. Acts 2.42, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to breaking of bread and to prayers. Fellowship was important to the church from the very beginning. The, after the, the day of Pentecost, they devoted themselves to the fellowship. Later in Acts 2, we're told that the believers shared their mutual goods as well as their spiritual wealth. Romans 12, 5 says, So in Christ, we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. Because we share the same faith and are part of the body of Christ, we belong to each other. Now, not in the sense of owning one another's possessions, but in the sense that we share a responsibility to love and to nurture one another in the things of God. John admonishes us in his first letter, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Fellowship is conditional. We must be living our lives in the light to have fellowship with one another. It is because of the righteousness of Christ in our desire to live holy lives that we keep in fellowship with each other. Our brothers and sisters in Christ are a vital part of our Christian journey. As a new believer, you can probably think of certain people that have already been a blessing to you in your faith. Thank the Lord for them and determine that you will also become a minister to others so that others will be blessed. In today's chapter from John's Gospel we read, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. As believers in Christ, we are called to love the entire body of Christ, not just the handful that we're close to. As the old saying goes, no one ever said love was easy, and if they did, they lied. Human beings are inherently sinful and fundamentally flawed with the capacity to frustrate, anger, baffle, and deeply wound one another. The body of Christ is a wonderfully rich and diverse group, yet those differences can be a source of much confusion, conflict, and division between us. From the way we look, speak, and live out our beliefs and values to our cultural experiences, educational backgrounds, and even our zip codes, each person brings their own unique contribution to the body of Christ. And some of it may be more palatable to you than others. Loving one another is not easy but Jesus calls us to do it anyway. Why? Because he does. Male and female, rich and poor, healthy and sick, honorable and dishonorable, Jesus did not discriminate. Instead, he demonstrated a radical, passionate, counterculture love to each and every person he encountered, without strings, without judgment, without exception. A redeeming love that pointed people toward the Father and offered hope and freedom to a world that was weary broken and lost. A self-sacrificial love that took him all the way to the cross. A love that's still very much evident today. And we, as undeserving recipients of this abundant life-changing love, have a responsibility to extend it to those around us. Our love for one another should be the hallmark of our fellowship as we seek to live out our calling and bring the good news to the people that God has placed in our path. Lord Jesus, thank you for the abundant love and endless grace that you have lavished upon each one of us. Help us to unconditionally love our brothers and sisters in Christ so that unbelievers who watch us will want the fellowship we have. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 
God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.